But we want to talk to you about um, Stephen Ireland. Yes. He did a three-hour interview with The Athletic. Covered a load of stuff, and I think um, got some information out about his backstory that a lot of people didn't fully understand. Um, mm. One of the things that happens early on in the piece is that he talks about being a 18-year-old, 19-year-old with two kids, and he split with the mother of the kids, but he kept custody yes. of the kids and was earning, was it 80, 85 pounds a week mm. at Manchester United, at Manchester City on his second contract. Stuart Pearce gives him a new deal with an improved performance related stuff, but his basic is still 80 something pounds a week. Yeah. Not a great story from, um, well, th there was loads of stuff in the story. Whatever it was with Stephen Ireland, whatever was in the background, Irish players never knew anything about it. Maybe Richard Dunn would have known a bit from his club, but Stephen Ireland always kept himself to himself, so he never knew anything. So no one was able to say, put an arm around him or help him or whatever. And listen, I have two kids now, and I can only imagine at that age the responsibility on that money yeah. to try and he be a parent, a single parent, let alone obviously very, very difficult. He said he was borrowing through. money at the yeah. end of the month to pay for nappies um, yeah. from Richard Dunn and um, a couple of his, um, a couple of his, was it Mika Richards was one of them? Yeah, well, to come through and to be a professional footballer at the level he did is obviously shows he, he is strong mind and strong character to go and do that with two kids at that age and take some courage and fair play. It's, it's a real pity. Cause I, yeah. You can read the story and you can go, ah look, you know. Yeah. And, and just on that, I had, the story obviously broke yesterday and I had some numpty on social media tweet me about tying him down and cutting his hair. <laughs> I've never hit anybody in my life, let alone tie someone down and shave their hair off. So can I just put that room or dead well, could, straight away like because yeah, because that that did that did sweep the football culture oh, everywhere and I, I, where from i don't know who started it listen i i i'm an i'm an aggressive person on the pitch but off the pitch i don't really have that in me to be honest with you and to do something like that never happened and i can just say that Stephen Arnold, or, or Stephen Arnold always kept himself to himself Stephen Arnold, when he had his dodgy hairstyles was a talking point in the changing them for sure but like, and like my grey hair is a talking point. Like my hair was a talking point. No different to Stephen Ireland. And there was no different how Stephen Ireland was treated to how Stephen Hunt was treated in the squad. You get stick, you get part and parcel of football. So that's what it is. Yeah. And this day and age, culture changes and it could be seen as, oh, it's too far. By God, I, got, I used to get hammered when I went over there. So every, the culture is different now than what it was 20 years ago. So you have to adapt to the times. You can't get away with stuff what you did 20 years ago, rightly so, but that's what we live in now. So that, just to go back to that story, because yeah. you must have heard that that story was out and... Yeah, but I, I, you hear it and then yesterday someone was tweeting me, I'm looking at him going, are you kidding me? Is this still going around about that? Yeah. This just never happened. Never even, I remember having... When you heard the story first, what did you think? <laughs> are you kidding me? Like, I'm not, I'm not that person. Or, and you say, like, it's one of them where you think, Okay, it's a bit of fun now, but then I guess someone tweeting yesterday and going, well, actually, do you know what? Time to kill that now, and that never happened. And yeah. yes, Stephen Ireland would have come in with one of his hairstyles one day, and we were all eating soup, and we wouldn't put our heads up because we wanted to take the mickey out of Stephen. But I'm sure Stephen now would see the funny point of that. Is he had hair that he stitched in. It is what it is. At the time, he wanted to have hair, so it's personal to some men. Yeah. Listen, I've had so much stick off my hair, I don't cry about it. Um, do you think that we could have done anything different with the Stephen Ireland situation? Like, so I don't know if you read the whole piece, but there's um, there's a conversation with Steve Staunton where um, he plays in a game. It's the, it must have been the televised game. So it must have been the Sunday evening game, four o'clock or the whatever kickoff on Sunday. And himself and Richard Dunn are playing. They're supposed to get a plane over after it to Ireland camp. And uh, he phones Staunton and says, "I'm." I'm I'm not coming, I feel sick. And Stott was like, I've just seen you playing in the telly. Yeah. What's going on? It turned out in the background that he didn't want to leave his family. Now, um, like, I can understand that, but that's also the sacrifice that people have to make. Of course. Now, there's probably a much bigger support network than you think for situations like this. No matter, on 85 quid a week, what support can you have? It's very, very difficult. Financially, you need support. So to do what he did was amazing, I think. Stephen probably, well I'd imagine he'd have might admit himself, if he'd been more open with the manager, well actually, 
Steve Staunton, I've got two kids and I can't leave them. Yeah. What can you say to that? Any well, parent or any... So apparently Stan, they did talk a little bit about it and, and the offer was, oh sure, we'll get a babysitter in the hotel room for them. Yeah. And he's like, oh, 10 days in the hotel room for the kids, not necessarily the best thing for... Yeah. You know, they might have been, you might have been taking them out of school, for example, at that stage. I don't know what and age again, it, at that stage. In an era where things are dealt with different now, so 10 years ago, 12 years ago, whenever Steve was playing with us, that would have been the answer any manager probably would have given Steve in Ireland, unfortunately. But now, the way so 2019 is that we are more caring, we are more open-minded to these things, we are more loving, we can't be as harsh as what we were. Come over, go back, back come over and go back if you have come to. Over, go back. We'll what, can, what can we do for you? We'll pay for that a nanny, make you, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's other, we're going to bring a bunch of families over, a bunch of players are going to bring their families over for this game and not the next game or whatever. Yeah. Like, is that, is that type of stuff yes. that might have helped with this? Well, if you look at Klopp at Liverpool, he just seems like to have the loving arm around the shoulder and then he also seems to have the bark. I think that's what you need. And maybe the loving arm around the shoulder for Stephen Ireland would have worked better than we get a babysitter, stick him in a room for 10 days. But that's back in the day, but managing has come on now we're not Brian Clough for example you can't manage how Brian Clough managed no, no matter what Roy says no you can't do it these days no you can't um, is, it, is it a great lost career or is that just never going to work out because of the scenario do you think like, cause he certainly had a, a huge impact in the time that he played yeah. in Ireland well I think this, the 85 quid a week was made up when the Arabs come in <laughs> <laughs> from Dubai and he got player of the year and they wanted to sign That was Taki Sinawatra, they, they, he ends up getting getting um, pushed out before that. So that was the, the Thai owner before that who, who made it up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So when he come in, they literally tried to sign the world, if I'm right in saying, and yeah. he had the, the season of his life with a seven-year contract. So yeah, that, that strongness, that mind that he had, the mindset that we all didn't know about, obviously stood him in good stead to to get him to a level of performance, which is good for him. Mancini ends up um, burning him out um, in, uh, you know, very stereotypical old school fashion. Made him captain for the preseason. He's playing well. Taking takes him aside and says, "Right, um, we're not registering you as a player, so you're going to have an entire year playing with the kids, or you can leave. What are you going to do?" It's it's not just Stephen Ireland, unfortunately. There's twenty players. Kevin Doyle is the best guy in the world. He did, he didn't train with the Wolves first team because they didn't want him. They trained at half two. Kevin Foley. No, it was Jamie O'Hara's fault, but <laughs> they all trained a half too and weren't to be seen. So he's not the first footballer to be frozen out. Even if you are a good pro, managers will just go, get out of the way. You're not part of my squad. It's, that, it's business. Yeah, it is a bit mad though that, like, to, to the PFA not step in in a situation like that and go, we're not well, taking once, this. Once the football club is, <laughs> once the football club is giving them their training, giving them their hours of coaching, then they can train whatever time they want. Right. So, like, is that, is, you don't have Joe Bloggs in there, you have people that you want to work behind the wall, or whoever it is controlling off the ball. They don't, you, you have to go, if you're not part of the plans, you move on. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Um, would Stephen Ireland get on better today? Do you think we would be better set up to, to deal yeah. with, to help somebody like that? For sure. It's a lot easier. And do you know what Mick, one thing what Mick is very good at, is if you have a family problem, I don't want to see you. Stay at home, look after your family. He, maybe that's because he's a granddad now, but he can be playing up. But yeah, that's you, you understand life better, I think. Yeah.